Hello and welcome to another episode of Torturing Yourself with me and Pilates. Nice that you zoomed in. We're gonna start lying on our backs as so often. So find your way down onto your spine. Pull both of your knees into your chest. Just rock from side to side to begin with. Focus on your breath. Naturally extending the breath, you will need the oxygen. <laughs> and then let's get into it. So open your legs into a tabletop position, 90 degrees and your hips, 90 degrees in your knees. Hands by your hips to begin with. Seal your lower back down into the floor, finding your imprint position. And you will notice as soon as we do that, knees naturally would come towards our chest, which makes it easier to stay in imprint, but it also makes it easier for our core. And we're here to strengthen our core, right? So we challenge our core by pushing the knees back on top of our hips. Then from here, separate your knees hip width distance apart. Single um, feet taps, right foot down tap. Pull that right knee beside your left foot. Switch over to the other side. So focus here, focus here on your imprint position. Keep on pressing your lower back down into the floor, especially then when you lower one foot down towards the floor. Warming up that powerhouse, warming up our core. First flirt with it. Don't forget about your breathing. Exhale out when you tap one foot down. Give me another four here. Another three. Another two. One more, tap it down. Double legs at the same time. Still with your feet being hip width distance apart, tap both of your feet down towards the floor. Still working on your imprint position. Another thing you really wanna work on to is that your knees are staying in 90 degrees all the way. So the reach down to the floor comes by opening through the hips. So I'm not just tapping the floor by lowering the heels down because then my core doesn't do anything. I wanna move the knees even further away and then pull them back on top of my, my hips further away, back on top of my hips. You're looking sharp. Let's go for another four here. And then three. And then two. Staying in imprint. One more. Back into tabletop position. Close your feet and your knees together. Now bring your hands behind your head. Inhale, exhale, nose to knees. Come back down. So we're still working with our knees on top of our hips. The only part of our body that is moving is our head, our shoulders away from the floor. Imagine you're holding something very precious with your knees and you don't want to drop it. So there's some inner thighs activation going on as well. Lift and come back down. Give me another five here. We love that. Four, three, two, and your last one, come on up, stay here with me. Have your elbows as wide as your temples, so you don't wanna pull your head with your arms. The head is lifted from your core, hands are just there to take strain away from your neck. Elbows wide, extend right leg towards the center, pull your right knee beside your left knee and switch sides. Beautiful, right leg goes long, pull it back in. Remember, a reminder from my side, don't pull those knees closer than your hips. Keep them hovering just above the hips instead of belly button to get the shaping that waistline. And creating some beautiful abs and strong core is really the foundation for everything. Let's go for another five here. And four, elbows wide. And three. And two. Good job. And one. Let's do one more to even it out. Bring your head back down towards the floor. Hands can rest again beside your hips. Now turn your toes out, Pilates stance. Turn your knees out. Pull those heels towards your sit bones. Stay with your pelvis grounded to begin with. Stretch your legs long, squeeze inner thighs towards another. You're still in your Pilates stance. Pull your knees back towards your shoulders and extend. So here in the shorter version of it, we wanna make sure we stay in imprint. And we want to make sure that we challenge ourselves. So bring those legs as low to the floor as you can. Obviously, the limiting factor is the core strength. And maybe at some point you notice how your pelvis starts to rock. If that's the case, then just shoot your legs a little higher, but avoid any rocking through your pelvis. Exhale out when you straighten your legs. Pull them in. Inhale. Let's go for another five like so. And four. And three, two more, and we're gonna add in some spice. Last one, pull your knees in, and now lift the pelvis off the floor, reverse crunch, pelvis down, straighten your legs, bend knees, reverse crunch down, straighten your legs. 
that lifting off the pelvis off the floor is a deep, deep core activation. So it's not momentum only. In the best case scenario, you could really do it super slow. So it's not even a rocking, it's just a pulling up and then a lowering down. Maybe even with a pause at the top. So feel how, oh, it burns now all the way up from the lower abs up to the higher abs. Stay with me for another five. Woo! Four. It's all about abs today. Three. We burn them out quick. Two. And your last one. Straighten those legs again. Find a level you can hold. Bring your hands behind your head. Lift your head off the floor. Right foot down. Tap. Pick it up. Left leg down. Tap. Pick it up. Beautiful. Same thing here. Drop your heels. As long as you're in position. Head is lifted by your core, not so much by your arms. Stick with me. Stay here for another five. Good work. Four. Almost there. Two. And your last into tabletop position. Open your arms to the side 90 degrees and have your head rested. From here, open your legs over to the right side. Your left hip can lift off the floor. Try to keep your knees on top of each other from a strong core. Pick it up. Switch over to the other side. Hips stacked on top of each other. Shoulder blade stays grounded. So it's not just a nice core activation around your waistline. It is actually a beautiful stretch here as well. So enjoy the calm before the storm. We will um, spice it up in a second. Give me another three rounds here. Three reps to the left, back to center, to the right, back to center. One more, come to the left and back to center. Back in tabletop position. Swipe your arms over your head, inhale, feet only as high as you need, exhale, roll up, crunch up, place the knees at the outside of your, place your hands, excuse me, on the outside of your knees or your calves, lower head, shoulders back down, swipe your arms over your head, inhale, exhale, reach, inhale, come back down overhead. So this is the first part of the movement. We're going to go through another two reps before we add on. Beautiful, arms over your head, inhale, exhale, crunch up. So now from here, come all the way up, up into seated, inhale, exhale, open your arms towards the sky, exhale, come all the way back down. Arms over your head, inhale, chin to chest, hands, exhale to the knees, inhale, sit up, bring your arms over your head, exhale, roll back down. Arms over your head, inhale, half crunch, exhale, sit up, arms up, inhale and come back down. Give me another two like so, arms over your head, crunch up, exhale, sit up, arms up, inhale, roll back down. We're going to add something more in, so stick with me, crunch up, sit up, arms up, stay here, tap right foot down, pull right knee beside your left foot, left foot down, pull it in, beautiful, try to reach as much as you can, stay in the C curve through your lower back, balance here, you got this, two, and one more, well done, come all the way back down, arms over your head, we're not quite finished, stick with me, crunch up, sit up, now keep your arms beside your knees for modification, you can hold on to the back of your knees, stick, extend your right leg out in front of you, right leg up, and down. Try to pull that right leg more towards your chest rather than you sitting up more right. So it's the leg that moves towards your chest. We are halfway here on the right leg. Let's go. Five and four and three and two and your last one. Bend your right knee. Other leg. Inhale. Exhale. Crunch up. Inhale. Sit up. Hands beside your knees. Left leg straight. Let's go for ten. Woo! Eight, seven, whew, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well, hug your knees into your chest. Whew, I hope your abs are on fire. I definitely feel it here. Whew, 
step your left foot back down, extend your left leg to the center of the yoga mat, extend your right leg up towards the sky, place your left hand on your left hip, right arm reaches an extension of your right shoulder to the side. From here, without lifting the left hip off the floor, start to open that right leg to the side, circle it down towards your right foot, along your center line, pick it back up high. Open to the side, back to center, back towards your face. Let's go for another three like so. So it's a nice hip mobility exercise at the same time. So we strengthen our core by avoiding rocking movements in our torso. Bring right leg down towards your left leg, sip it back up. We're gonna go for one more half round. So bring right leg down here. And then from here, see if you can bend your left knee, lift right leg up, drop it down. Lift right leg up, drop it down. Give me another three like so. Up and down. Two more, up and down. Last one, up and down. Bring that right leg up from that fixed palace position. Straighten your left leg, but this time off the floor. Let's go for another five. Right leg up, down and up. Last four, looking good. Last three, Woo. two, Woo. work on your imprint. One more, well done. Both knees bend, let them drop against each other. Take a moment, shake your hips, shake your legs from side to side. Let's move over to the other side. Right leg is straight, left leg goes up towards the sky. Right hand on your right hand to the side. Inhale to prepare, open left leg to the side. Heels together, sip it up towards your face. Open to the side. Bring feet together and come back up. Let's go for another three. Working into the opening of your left hip. Another two without rocking too much. Right side of your body stays clean, stays down. Let's go for another half one. Beautiful, then bend your right knee. Pick that left leg straight up, back down, all the way up. So feel the stretching element here as well. You want to make sure that you go past that point where it's just a leg lift and it actually turns into a leg stretch. Mm, we love that for us. Let's go for another two. Yes, yes, yes. One more. Up and down. We stop at the top, so bring it up. Extend your right leg long. Lift that right here just a centimeter off the floor. Let's go for another five. Left leg down and up. Left leg down. And up, right leg is still, but it's hovering. Let's go for another two. Nice, one more, and come back up. Join with your right leg all the way at the top. Hands can now be beside your hips or underneath your hips. Squeeze ankles, knees towards another. Have your inner thighs fired up. Bring your legs down to the floor and back up. All the way down and back up. Finish strong with this app finisher. So um, I really, or this app quickie, I should say, I really need you to be switched on. It's only 15 minutes. So I need you to be mind muscle connected all the way through. Don't drift away. Stay with me and be all way, almost there. Last few exercises. Let's go it. Let's go for it. Let's go for another five, four, good, three, Two, don't lift that lower back away from the floor. Last one, lift your legs back up. Open your legs wide into a straddle. Hold the inside of your knees, stretch it out first. You can pendle your legs a little bit from side to side and then find your center again. Flex your feet, bring your hands beside, between your legs. Let's go. Up and down, lift everything off the floor. Looking good, nice, stay strong on me you stay yeah push through it three two one more finisher stay at the top now it's your legs that are kicking towards your shoulders for ten nine yes lift that pelvis off the floor almost there and four and two and your last one well done. Woo. Open your arms to the sides. Windshield wipe your legs from side to side. Take breath into your stomach to stretch the stomach from the inside out. <sighs> Holy moly. 
quick but spicy, just the way we like. Ready to stay a little longer, do a second round through, or maybe just stretch it out. I hope to see you soon again. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.